going to take a look at the blue light uh, BL3G RC gyro today. Uh, I've installed it in my 2 meter wingspan icon and so we'll take a look at that and uh, have a look at the configuration software as well. So just uh, open it up and we'll see the uh, gyro inside. And a bit more of a close up look. So I'm just going to power it up. And then uh, plug in the USB cable that's provided. And we can uh, take a look at the software. So here's the configuration software. And uh, you'll see that it starts off in the quick start page where you can select some um, quick uh, basic setups of the type of mode that um, you want to operate in for the type of application uh, small plane, uh, VTAIL, uh, with or without flaperons, multicopter, those types of things. You can see here that um, showing that it's plugged in via USB. You can select the more advanced tabs here and you'll see all these tabs up the top uh, now are available for um, more advanced configuration, you can do mixing, set flapperons, uh, you can uh, add a bit of uh, roll into your there, add a bit of rudder to your turns, make them a bit tighter, multi-copter, uh, flying wing, all those types of things. You can also select your own curves for uh, all three axes, all the power, there's quite a large selection there, and uh, more advanced settings, you can make sure that your transmitter is um, is properly configured for the gyro. It's compatible with pretty much every um, transmitter and servo out there. You've got some sensitivity settings, some more advanced uh, filtering type settings, information tab that shows you exactly how the gyro is connected and configured. And you can also look at live data, either pre-processing or post-processing from the gyro, all three axes, and you can capture that in real time. And then, of course, you can upgrade to the latest releases as they become available. Once you're happy with the configuration, you can go back to the Basic tab, hit the Send button, and the configurations will be sent up to the gyro. You can also uh, store your configurations and um, retrieve them again. So I've got one previously set up. Load that. And send that one up to the gyro. And now we're all set. So now I'll disconnect it. You'll notice the lights are flashing, uh, indicating that it's working. Disconnect the USB cable there. You'll notice also that uh, I've got it mounted on foam there to cut down on vibration. So now the gyro has been configured. You can try it out. You can see the uh, control surfaces are moving now. Counteractive disturbances, wind and turbulence, etc. Everyone's moving in the right direction. And uh, I've configured one channel here to switch the gyro on and off so you can fly without the gyro 